All right, guys. Welcome back, Hercule One, and uh, we're still carrying on with this Battlefield Four Beginner Series. This is part two, episode two, I guess is what I'll call it. We're gonna go with the engineer class. This video should be a lot shorter because I went into more detail about each class. Um, talked a little bit more about them in the last video, so there's really no need to talk about them in that much more in this video. So I'll give you a little extra, you know, actual on the combat range with uh, with this one maybe. So we'll talk about the engineer class and what's specific about it. So here we have the engineer class. We're gonna talk. Uh, we go into X or not X, but if we hit X, we go right into the game. We're gonna hit triangle, and when you go into triangle, it's gonna open up, you know, the the attachments, the guns, how to change your weapons and things like that in the game. Um, the nice thing about this, unlike Call of Duty, where you have classes and you set up the classes before you go into a game, and you're stuck with what you got until the game's over. Here, you can actually change up your classes mid-game. This is still the same, um, the same map. I'm literally recording these back to back. So I never left. So I can change the guns around if I want to, and then go right back into the game. So if somebody's pissing me off, and I, I'm, you know, they're camping somewhere, and I need to get get them out of the someplace, I can switch to a mortar or a different type of rocket. The gun's not working. I can switch to a better gun. You name it, I can do it all mid-game and uh, carry right back into the game. It's it's nice. I like it. So here we have our, like I said in the last video, uh, what's primary to the engineer class is the PDWs. These are your uh, submachine guns in Call of Duty. Your high rate of fire, but absolute crappy range weapons. Uh, very light damage most of the time. Uh, there's a few in here that aren't too bad. Um, I think this one does better damage than the carbine that I have selected right now. It's also got better hit fire and stability. I mean, it's just a better gun. I'm probably using it, but regardless, um, never like I could select it right now. So yeah, so we have your your UMP45, like I said, you got your P90, your JS2, CZ3. But if you notice, your carbines are all the same as they were in your assault class. The DMRs are all the same. The shotguns are all the same. Those, like I said, are generic for every class. The only thing that's are different are the primaries. So we'll talk about uh, the UMP45. For example, I have a reflex sight on it right now. I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, I do. I got unlocked a bunch of stuff, and I just never actually used it. Probably from battle packs, and I just never went back to this gun for whatever reason. I do like the Cobra sight. Coyote sight's a little better because it's got that red dot. The uh, you know what you saw the you saw the Coyote sight Coyote sight on the <laughs> Coyote sight on the assault class. So let me show you the uh, Cobra sight and the little difference nuances between some of these sights and stuff. And I'm not a big fan of the Cobra because it's got a T reticle as opposed to the uh, Coyote, which has the red dot. But regardless, we'll talk about some. You got your flashlights and stuff. I won't really get into all that right now. It's unnecessary, really. Your barrel attachments are a little different. Not too much different, but a little different than they were in the assault class. Still have heavy barrels and compensators and stuff like that. Uh, under grips, same thing. Uh, you just won't see a lot of uh, like under barrel attachments and stuff on these. And you also notice you don't have as much along the lines of um, like noob tuby type stuff in this class. But that's probably because you get the rocket launchers. So your secondary weapons, again, these are generic to every class. They're the same uh, pistols and short, shorty shotguns. You name it, revolvers, uh, whatever suits your fancy. G18's full auto, shorty shotguns, a uh, pump action, three shot. You know, you gotta be careful. You use all three shots and it takes a little while to reload. G18 uses all its shots real fast, 900 uh, rate of fire. I'm going to kind of mention over here too, if you look at the right, when you're selecting different guns over here, it shows you the uh, damage accuracy, stuff like that. If you're looking for like rate of fire down there, it's 900 rounds per minute. Uh, that's that's really that's really fast. Um, some of these other guns, uh, might be, uh, the, not 93Rs, 900 rounds a minute too. If you look, let's go back to, I'm sorry, I know. Uh, like for example, your UMP45 gets a 600 rate of fire so you look here you get 700 this kind of lets you know if, if you're having a hard time killing somebody or if you're dying you're shooting first but you're dying you can switch to a higher rate of fire gun you get more bullets uh, on the target that's all I was really wanting to get out there all right gadgets this is this is another thing that changes up with the uh, each class so the engineer class carries rocket launchers of all sorts you got your law rocket which is a single shot fire um, rocket it does light damage it's it's not a bad rocket launcher but I don't usually run it I'll usually run something along the lines of RPGs or smalls I think they do better damage um, against tanks and whatnot 
but they also they don't have any guidance system whatsoever it's a fire and forget missile because you, you, you aren't going to get a lock on with these weapons the the law actually i believe does but it has to be a laser designator which the recon class carries and you know, so or you can just fire and forget it too uh, the javelin you lock onto a target fire it and keep the lock on um, till it hits the target yes, hopefully they don't have flares the straw is really nice I actually like the straw a lot you can lock onto a or you can fire this missile and it's it's wire guided so as it flies through the air the wire is going to guide it to wherever you're aiming so if you're aiming at a uh, I, I snipe snipers with these before <laughs> If you aim at a sniper in the distance and you fire this rocket, you keep that your reticle, your sight on the target, it's going to fly directly to that sight. So even if you're shooting it at an airplane, helicopter, whatever, and uh, they pop flares, it doesn't matter. That rocket's going to go right where you're aiming. The stinger is different and the igler are the same in a sense because you fire them. And the stinger, you fire it and forget it. As long as it gets a lock on, you can fire it. The igler's a little different. You can fire it. After it gets a lock on, they can pop flares, and then once the flares go away, if you continue to have that lock on, that missile will come right back and hit them. Uh, repair tool, I'm always rocking a repair tool. It's on the, you can see over in the gadget to select, and, and that will help you to repair tanks and things like that for your friends, your teammates and whatnot, or if you're driving a tank, you get damaged, or helicopter, or whatever, you get out, repair it, and get back in. Uh, mines, you can drop these mines on the ground. Uh, EOD bot, this thing can repair vehicles, it can also kill enemies, you can kill enemies with the repair tool too, or even the defibrillators in the assault class. Uh, but the EOD bot can move around the map, you just kind of, basically you hide somewhere, deploy the EOD bot, he runs out, and uh, you can, I think you can even arm objectives and stuff with the EOD bot, I've never done it myself, but I think you can. Uh, but you can go around repairing things, it's, it's, it's a little fun. AA mines, I don't care what any pilot in this game says, the AA mines are your friend. You drop one of these things down and it will lock onto aircraft and it will, it'll piss off a lot of pilots because they won't be able to get close to you and it, it, it really pisses them off. The decoy I've never really used, so I'm not even going to talk about it. Like I said, it's not, not that big a deal. Like I said, so we got the repair tool in our gadget too. I'm always usually running the M67 just because of the extra splash damage. Nice. Uh, defensive upgrades, I usually do defensive for the engineer. It just reduces incoming damage to the chest by 10%. Uh, these are all levels. As the more kills you get, the, the more places you capture, the better options you get leveled up. So, uh, offensive, shadow. I usually run shadow with recon. Uh, you can run mechanic too, especially with the engineer class. Mechanic's a good one because it will uh, help you, you know, repair things and stuff like that faster. So, and then camo. So, that's that. Let's. Uh, Let's talk about. Let's do. Oh, I don't want to be here. Let's go into an MRAP real quick. So here we are in our MRAP. We're back on this uh, this map here. We're uh, like I said, you just get used to the the feel of the weapon, the the trucks and stuff like that. Pull out your repair tool. Basically, all you do is you walk up to it. If it's damaged, and you hit it, and a little circle will pop up, and and uh, it'll show you repairing your your vehicle and whatnot. So uh, here we have a rocket. We can. Uh, take out some stuff with the rocket walls another nice thing about this game compared to Call of Duty is you can take out walls that people are camping behind talking about the reticles, the difference in the reticle like I said in the last uh, last video you saw a red dot here you have the T reticle so I think they said this was the Cobra site is going to give you a T reticle, your Coyote site is going to give you a red dot so that's the difference, I usually run the Coyote because it's a red dot so yeah that's, uh, that's basically the engineer class in a nutshell guys and the nutshell is pretty big because this is going on 10 minutes also. I apologize. Oh, I can't revive. I can't repair. Something's blown up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, any suggest suggestions you might have. And other than that, I will talk to you guys later. Search you one. I am out.